it really does change the beneficence equation. I mean, when most research is done uh, initially, you're going out to gather data, there is risk to your participants, but you've got to be able to put your hand on your heart and say, the benefits of my research are such that this risk is, is appropriate. And that's a central plank of, of the decisions around ethical conduct. Once the data has been desensitized, and what you're essentially doing is you're breaking the link between participant and data. And therefore, it will no longer be the case under any conditions that someone can go and knock on the participant's door and go, I know what you did last summer, because that link is just no longer present. And so the risk essentially disappears. And, and that's a really massive benefit when you come to the beneficence question, because it's all benefit and no risk. And, and this is one of the reasons why sharing data is something that the national statement says is a good thing, because the national statement is all about balancing risk against benefit. 